let's go back to the same problem but this time let's approach this on a slightly different way again prepare an equal number of particles of each substance we have 18.1 grams of h2o then we have 15.7 grams of c6h14 again prepare equal number of particles so first we need to determine the number of particles of this given substances and again we can do that by the help of the concept of mole again a mole is always equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles again one mole of something is has the same number of particles with one mole of another thing so for example we have uh, 0 0.5 moles 0 0.5 moles of H2O has the same number of particles with 0 0.5 moles of C6H14 and also 1.25 moles of H2O has the same number of particles with 1.25 moles of C6H14 so again that's how we count particles here uh, the same number of moles means the same number of particles so we'll do the same thing here, but again, instead of going to the number of particles, we could just stop on the number of moles because again, the number of moles tells us the comparative numbers of particles of each of the substance. Again, we have 18.1 grams of H2O. 18.1 gram of H2O. Let's determine how many moles is on this mass. So again, from the mass, to the number of moles for this we need the molar mass we have 18.02 grams of H2O then we solve this we have 18.1 divided by 18.02 so we have 1.00 so this one contains 1.00 moles of H2O how about this one we have 15.7 grams of C6H14 Let's determine the molar mass of this one. So we have the gram C6H14, and then we have one mole of C6H14. So the molar mass of C6H14 is equal to 86.06 grams. And by this, we have 15.7 .7 divided by 86.06. And so we have 0 0.182. We have three sig figs. You have 0 0.182. 0 0.182 moles of H2O. So again, since we need to prepare equal number of particles, so we should base on the lowest number of particles. So which of the following contains the lowest number of particles? Again, the, the moles tells us the number of particles. So this one is less than this one so this one contains the lowest number of particles here so we have 0 0.182 0 0.182 moles of this one so again we should also prepare the same number of particles here we have 0 0.182 moles of our h2o so let's proceed and calculate that one So we have 0 0.182 moles of H2O, moles of H2O. Again, I need to prepare this one, so I need to get the mass of this number of moles of H2O. So we have from the moles of H2O to the grams of H2O. So one, sorry, one mole of H2O is equal to, we have 18.02 grams, 18.02 grams. Then if we solve this one, we have 0 0.182 times uh, 18.02. So we have 3.28. We have 3.28 grams of H2O. So again, this is very close to the earlier because earlier we have 3.29 gram of H2O. But, but again, uh, for every measurement this last number can change because this one is only an estimate because it's, uh, if we go back to our sig figs again the last digit in every measurement is uncertain so this can vary for uh, like by one or by two points on the last part of this number so again that's how you 
that's how you count the number of particles without really going to the number of particles you could just stop on the number of moles